Good day, everyone. We are the Philippine Genome Center Mindanao, envisioning to be a center of excellence in gene discovery and genomics research that effectively translates knowledge into application beneficial to the Philippine society. We are one of the founding member institutions of the Mindanao Genomics Consortium, comprising of 44 public and private education institutions, government agencies, industry, and still growing. Of the 2,393 higher education institutions of the Philippines, around 1,300 college programs offered are engaged in molecular biology. But the 189 scientists per million population is way below the ideal ratio of 380 scientists per million population. Now we are about 109.6 million in the Philippines. So that's just roughly around 20,700 scientists in different fields. Among this, only 1,859 are molecular biology researchers or enthusiasts based on the Philippine Society of Molecular Biology and Biochemistry membership. So we can say that this may have resulted from low accessibility and high cost of molecular supplies, as there are no local source of molecular reagent circuits, and these important reagents are costly, very costly, because of the fees and processes that goes with it, and due to our geographical location, there are huge delays and intervals of the arrival of these supplies and sometimes can affect the quality of the reagents due to the inadequate storage conditions while in transit. The supply problem just leads to even bigger problem as only few selected labs have the access and the capacity because of the prohibitive costs and availability of the molecular reagents or kits resulting in hampered and stalled research and innovation. And since most radio circuits are sourced internationally, operational efficiency of molecular labs are also affected during a national emergency or a pandemic, for example, in the SARS-CoV-2 and ASF diagnostic labs. So a feasible solution for this is for the Philippines to have locally produced and inexpensive molecular biology enzymes to improve accessibility to molecular biology research and innovation. This will mostly impact our researchers, our educational systems for STEM or molecular biology and the love with molecular biology applications. So we are sharing to you the FOB project, PH Accessible Biotech, uh, with a vision democratizing biotechnology research and innovation in the Philippines. So our plans are First, to develop a low-cost workflow for enzyme production. The second, to develop a biofoundry to support this workflow. Third, is to avail the expertise and resources in partnership with Frenzymes and other open source materials. Fourth, to partner with the Mindanao Genomics Consortium and other lab and industry networks for marketing. And lastly, but not least, to expand utilization through integration into STEM or molecular biology curriculum. So we are targeting to produce tag and fusion DNA polymerases or other enzymes which are not yet synthesized and present in the enzyme collection registry. We will use a bacillus subsilis secretion kit for easier protein harvest. And we will we'll utilize a frugal enzyme purification system adapted to our laboratory settings with the following steps listed here. And finally, we will have automated workflows through OpenTrans. Yes, this is just the beginning. The biofoundry will also pave the way for sustainable protein production with local demand for medical and industrial applications such as antigens, food fermentation, and many others. Hence, we are actively seeking for funding, collaboration, open sharing of ideas, or troubleshooting platforms and industry partners. So before I end, let me introduce our five project team members, Dr. Slyar Murao, Annabel Navarro, Alegla Dicadis, Joel Tolentino, Mr. Khalil Corazzo, Homer Sahonia III, Michael Bacchus, and myself, Joan Nacasso. And I would like to thank you all and have a great day ahead.